So now I have the transmitter, I need to make the receiver. So again, I will be using the NRF24L01 module. So the receiver will receive the data transmitted by the transmitter. So if I do this, the transmitter will send it to the receiver. The receiver will send the information to an Arduino and then the Arduino Nano will decide what to do with this information, with this. So in this video, I'll demonstrate my uh, transmitter. So I'll make the receiver here and make a car. <laughs> To control the car, I will use this L293D IC, so this is a H-bridge, so they will control the direction and the speed of the motors relative to the information I send it through the transmitter. And I will make a circuit board uh, to house all of these electronics. wired up the NRF24LZ01 to the Arduino Nano with each cable corresponding to the connection it needs. So here it is, all wired up. So I connected the NRF24LZ01, the Arduino Uno, and the L293D. Okay, so how it works. The NRF24LZ01 will receive a signal from my transmitter, which will then go through these wires, go through the Arduino. The Arduino will understand the signal, and then will it will talk to the L293D, which will then control the motors. So now I'm going to make the car. some uh, electrical tape on the seam so there's a seam right here and I've put tape because when I'm gonna be gluing uh, the motor with hot glue I don't want the hot glue to seep inside of the gears and block it and when it wants to turn uh, the gears break and I've already uh, broken a lot of uh, motors because of this an RC car is more complicated than I thought. The first problem I can see is the transmission. As you can see I've tried to remedy my power problems so either with a separate power supply or by putting more capacitors and trying the same on the transmitter. So this problem mostly affects the range of the transmitter. Another problem with this was the mechanical build. As you can see, I started by putting one caster wheel uh, right here. And the problem with this is that this sort of caster wheel is supposed to go with heavy loads. So there's a force pushing down on the wheel and a force pushing sideways when you're trying to move the object. And the problem here is this is very light. So without putting a downward force this way and only putting a sideways force this way with the motors, the caster wheel actually slides. And if it's uh, in a certain position, it will make the whole car turn in the direction you don't want it to be turning. I uh, tried putting two caster wheels, one on each side, so it would be more stable. That didn't work because, again, there's not enough force pushing down, even with the battery. And then I thought, I don't actually need a caster wheel. 
I can just leave this or maybe uh, cut something like this so it has just one point of contact. And I've tested this, this actually works pretty well. But making a car is actually pretty complicated. project about the NRF 24L01, about the car design, about woodworking. So uh, this uh, transmitter actually has an antenna but it is not connected to anything because my last one, well I took it off, it didn't work. So the antenna is actually not connected to anything but it's just more cool to have an antenna so it is. <laughs> so this was uh, my last video. Now I made this. And I saw that the center of gravity was also applied to cars, not just planes or uh, drones or whatever. And it's, that's, that was actually quite interesting because if, I, if the center of gravity is not where the wheels touch the ground, or well, here it has to be a bit up front, because it has to stay like this. And if too much weight is added here, well, it just flips. So the motor placements are important. The, so the battery, which is quite heavy, uh, decides where the CG goes. Goes forwards like this, goes reverse, and then I can turn. It worked great. And it goes quite far, actually. So that's one of the good things. One of the bad things um, is that it doesn't go far enough. Firstly, I made this transmitter to fly a drone, and then I made the car to see if the transmission was good, if it was fast enough. So if I want uh, to make a drone out of the NRF 24LZ01, I'm going to have to change uh, this module and put a uh, badass antenna or something like that. <laughs> So thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.